Actress Lois Maxwell is most famous for playing Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond movies. She was the smart and always supportive secretary to James Bond, making a big impression on viewers all over the world. Many people first noticed her in the early Bond movies, where she became a key part of the series' appeal and humor. One of her most memorable moments on screen includes her playful exchanges with Agent 07, which added fun and depth to the movies. We're eager to hear your stories and memories about Lois Maxwell in the comments below. Keep watching this video for more as we share some funny, shocking, and sad details about her career. In the world of film, Lois Maxwell was a shining star. She graced the screen for many years, especially known for her role as Miss Monopenny in the James Bond series. Her charm, wit, and sophistication made her a beloved figure in spy movies. She played a vital role in the James Bond franchise, adding depth and interest to the series alongside the suave James Bond himself. Fans around the world adored her performances. Beyond James Bond, she had a long and successful career in both movies and TV shows, showcasing her talent in various genres. Her professionalism and dedication were admired by many, serving as an inspiration to aspiring actors. Her influence on the entertainment industry continues to inspire new generations. She'll always be remembered for her contributions to film and TV, leaving a lasting mark on the silver screen. Actress Lois Maxwell acted alongside Jeffrey Keane in six movies Scotland Yard Inspector, The Spy Who Loved Me, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and A View to a Kill. She's best known for playing Miss Monopenny in Dr. No, which made her very famous in the James Bond movies. Ian Fleming, who created James Bond, chose her himself for the role because he thought she was perfect for it, being both charming and smart. She made a big impact on audiences worldwide with her role. Her work in the Bond movies will always be remembered as an important part of movie history. This text was, Lois Maxwell, recognized as the mother of Melinda Maxwell, had a remarkable career mainly for her portrayal as Miss Monopenny in the James Bond movies. One significant aspect of her career was her work with Bernard Lee, appearing alongside him in 13 films. These films included Dr. No, From Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, Operation Kid Brother, You Only Live Twice, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Diamonds Are Forever, Live and Let Die, The Man with a Golden Gun, Bonds Bazers to Hong Kong, The Spy Who Loved Me, and Moonraker. Despite her extensive involvement in the James Bond franchise, the total time Lois Maxwell appeared on screen across all 14 films was approximately only 17 minutes. This fact highlights the brevity of her appearances, contrasting with the significant influence of her character in the series. In conclusion, Lois Maxwell, Melinda Maxwell's mother, played a noteworthy role in the James Bond film series, especially through her collaboration with Bernard Lee. Her limited screen time, however, underscores the impact she made in the short moments she appeared on screen. Lois Maxwell, renowned for portraying Miss Monopenny in the James Bond film A View to a Kill, encountered a crucial moment when producer Albert R. Broccoli informed her that she wouldn't be part of the next Bond movie. Interestingly, Broccoli noted that they were the only survivors from the original Doctor, no still contributing to the franchise. Beyond her Bond role, Maxwell made notable appearances in the final episode of The Persuaders alongside Roger Moore and in The Saint. Her involvement extended beyond the big screen, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Adding a personal touch to her life, Maxwell became a mother to Melinda in 1958, who currently resides in England, and to Christian in 1959, now living in Australia. This glimpse into her family life offers a look into the actress's world beyond the spotlight. Looking back, Maxwell's journey in the entertainment industry encompasses more than just roles in movies. It intertwines with the changing nature of the James Bond series, the brief yet impactful mention in The Persuaders, and her involvement in other projects reveal a career marked by variety. In summary, Lois Maxwell's story extends beyond the screen, involving personal choices and family ties. Her role in the Bond series and other productions is a crucial part of her influence in the world of entertainment. In 1949, Lois Maxwell began her Hollywood journey, joining a group of eight aspiring actresses for a Life magazine photoshoot. Among them was Marilyn Monroe, who went on to achieve great success. She later played Miss Monopenny in You Only Live Twice. The atmosphere on set was reportedly tense. Sean Connery, disillusioned with his Bond role and irritated by the public's obsession with the franchise, found no solace in posters featuring him as James Bond. 
Additionally, during the same time, Bernard Lee and Lois Maxwell appeared in the Bond imitation operation Kid Brother with Neil Connery, Sean's younger brother, which left Sean dissatisfied. Before her time in Hollywood, Lois Maxwell had a regular role on a CBC series while attending grammar school in Toronto. In summary, from a humble beginning in 1949 to portraying Miss Moneypenny in the Bond series, her career had its ups and downs. Yet, she persevered through the challenges of Hollywood. Lois Maxwell, famous for portraying Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond movies, suggested an interesting idea for her character's storyline. In a view to a kill, she proposed that Miss Moneypenny meet her end. Working closely with Albert R. Broccoli, Maxwell had a special role in the Bond series. She and Broccoli were the only two people involved in all 14 Bond films, starting from Dr. No in 1962 and ending with A View to a Kill in 1985. In her last appearance as Miss Moneypenny in A View to a Kill, Maxwell's total screen time spanned 23 years of James Bond movies. However, she was on screen for only about an hour, with her character speaking fewer than 200 words. Maxwell not only acted in the Bond series, but also had a hand in shaping the story, as shown by her suggestion for Miss Moneypenny's fate. In the first James Bond movie, Dr. No, the actress playing Miss Moneypenny, Lois Maxwell, had to wear her own clothes because of budget limits. This was common for actors in smaller roles, too. Despite this, Maxwell stayed true to her character, showing her dedication. She particularly liked From Russia with Love, considering it her favorite Bond film. This shows how much she enjoyed being part of the series. Lois Maxwell's role as Miss Moneypenny in many Bond films alongside Desmond Llewellyn was memorable. Her commitment to the character, even with wardrobe challenges in Dr. No, was admirable. Her preference for From Russia with Love adds depth to her involvement in the franchise. Actress Lois Maxwell, known for her role as Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond film series, decided not to continue her role into the Timothy Dalton Bond era. One reason was because she felt Dalton was too young for her, and she didn't want anyone to think Moneypenny was Bond's mother figure. In You Only Live Twice, the fifth film in the official James Bond franchise, Lois Maxwell portrayed Miss Moneypenny alongside Sir Sean Connery as James Bond. It was also the fifth appearance for Bernard Lee as M, and the fourth for Desmond Llewellyn as Q. Besides her role as Miss Moneypenny, Maxwell appeared twice in The Saint alongside Roger Moore. Lois Maxwell, known for her role as Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond movies, had interesting connections. She was a distant cousin of Anne Lockhart and Richard Hurd. Not just an actress, she was a writer too. From 1979 to 1994, she wrote a regular column for the Toronto Sun under the name of Moneypenny. In You Only Live Twice, she starred alongside Sir Sean Connery for the last time. In Diamonds Are Forever, there's a scene where Moneypenny gives Bond his travel documents. Interestingly, Maxwell and Connery filmed their lines separately for this scene. They weren't together for it.